The wealth anointing of the Holy Ghost is real, is powerful, is mighty, it's intense, and it changes everything around you. It changes everything in your living arrangements. It changes everything in your uh, capability to accomplish things. It gives you the power to take charge of your environment and the course of your life. The power to get wealth was God's idea because he was giving you everything that you want in abundance so that you could reap the rewards for keeping his way. For doing his will, his soul, doing his soul. Doing the will of God is just doing the soul of God. That means that his mind, his will, his emotions, that's your decisions now. His mind, his will, his emotions is how you have patterned your decision making. See, saints, I want you to hear this. When you're in sin, it's not about God's mind. It's not about his will or his emotions. It's about what you, you will. It's about how you feel and it's about how you think. And saints, when you in sin, the demons that are alongside of you while you're sinning, they take away your interest from your prophet. They take away your interest for the word. They take away your interest for self-control. They take away your interest for purity. They take away your interest for prayer. They take away your interest for knowledge. They take away your interest for, for, for studying, for, for walking in the spirit. They take away your godly goals. See, saints, sin don't stop with just the decision. There are invisible people telling you to sin. And those invisible people, their desire is not just to get you to do something wrong, but their desire is also to capitalize on the wrong decision and enter in through the space of that wrong decision and also take your soul into a place of disinterest towards God. See, saints, sin don't stop with just a decision. When you do the decision, there are invisible people that hate God that want to capitalize on that wrong decision and say, okay, now I got room to talk to you further. Let me take you further. Let me take you away. Let me sanctify you from the Holy Ghost. There is a sanctification from the Holy Ghost. And the sanctification from the Holy Ghost, when you get sanctified from the Holy Ghost, think about that. Being set apart. From the spirit of God. Whoa. Just think about that. In Isaiah 59. The word of God said that. It is your sin that separates you from God. That means that those fallen angels. They have successfully. Got you to do something wrong. And also now they're entering in. They have an entry point. Into your soul. Into your belly. To take away the appetite. For the food of the spirit. Sin is very dangerous. God didn't create you to sin daily. God didn't create you to sin at all. There is power to not sin. You don't have to sin another day in your life. You don't have to commit another sin for the rest of your days on earth. You do not have to sin ever again. For some of you all that's, 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 that's in wisdom, in the wisdom mantle, you will never sin again. That's why many people are not glory carriers. They don't even understand this doctrine. 
Do you know that there's preachers, if they heard me preaching this, they'll say, nah, you can't tell your people that. You know, you, you got to let people, you know, you got to let them make their mistakes. And then it, imagine, do you hear? You, you know how ludicrous that is? For you to permit people to listen to the devil until they learn how to listen to God. And, and, and you not tell them there's power for you to listen to God and not go through all that wasted time and all those consequences. And you going through stuff in your body because you keep on making mistakes. You going through stuff in your finances because you keep on making mistakes. You going through stuff in your emotions because you keep on making mistakes. You keep on going through betrayals and heartache and people tricking you and wronging you. And you going through diseases because you keep on making mistakes and people need to know that there's power from on high for you to live high all the time there's power for you to be ye perfect as your father in heaven is perfect all the time you can walk in glory all the time you can walk in the spirit all the time you can walk in self control all the time you can walk in wisdom all the time you can walk in the fire of God the grace of God the glory of God the blessing of God, the wisdom of God, the understanding of the Lord, the fear of the Lord, all the time. You know how many people need to hear that? The power of the cross of Jesus gave you power over your mind, power over your body, power over your health, power over your wealth, power over money. The power of the cross, the cross of Jesus gave you a surge of energy for you to take back your inheritance, for you to live by faith, walk by faith, and not by sight. The cross of Jesus, an object in the spirit realm, the blood of Jesus, an object in the spirit realm, it is a lethal weapon. Destroying the works of the devil in your money, in your mind, and in your movements. In your money, mind, and movements. The blood of Jesus, the cross of Jesus. A lethal weapon in the spirit for you to take captive all the spirits that wanted to keep you in captivity. You bind. Whatsoever you bind on earth will be loo bound, bound in heaven. You Whatsoever you loose on earth will be loose in heaven. You have binding authority through the blood and through the cross and through the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. What did Solomon say? The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it in Proverbs and they are safe. The name of Jesus. You can use the name of Jesus. By the name of Jesus, cripples begin to walk. In the name of Jesus, deserts become rivers. Wildernesses become wealth. Poverty become abundance. Sickness become health. Confusion become clarity. Depression become praise. Weakness become joy. The name of Jesus is a miracle work in power. You, you need to start saying in the name of Jesus, I will, I will, I am rich. In the name of Jesus, I am in prosperity. In the name of Jesus, I believe my prophet. In the name of Jesus, all my body parts, all my bones, my cells, my blood cells, my vessels, it is healed right now. In the name of Jesus, you can take healing when you want, where you want, how you want, if you want. You ain't got to wait for nobody to lay no hands on you. In the name of Jesus, I receive my healing right now. In the name of Jesus, I receive prosperity miracles right now. In the name of Jesus, I receive power in my body Power in my mind, power in my heart, power in my pathway, power in my relationships, power in my decisions. In the name of Jesus, we have the blood of Jesus. We have the cross of Jesus. 
the cross of Christ. The cross of Christ is where lack, poverty, debts, and financial curses and consequences die. Did you hear what I just said? Financial curses and consequences. At the cross of Jesus, the cross of Christ, Jesus destroyed the power of every money, evil spirit. Every money, wicked spirit that wanted to twist your mind. Make you think that if you dream about a big house, you sinning because you want to wear jewelry, you sinning. When the Bible said that the elders, the 24 elders lay down their crown of gold and earn onyx, burnish all type of diamonds inside of their crown. They win jewelry on the top of their head. People in heaven live rich. People in heaven live wealthy. People in heaven ain't got no poverty, ain't got no hunger, ain't got no starvation, no pain, no loss, no homelessness, no. This financial power from on high. The church in the book of Acts started walking in that financial power. You know why? Because they started to listen to God's financial wisdom. The Lord said, give and it shall be given unto you. Ain't nothing hard about that, baby. You could be as slow as day. It don't matter. Ain't nothing hard about that. You know what the Bible says? Giving it shall be given. It ain't nothing hard about that. You ain't got to go to no theology school to understand that. The Bible say if you going to give to the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost going to take over people to give to you. And said that this is how I'm going to increase you. By you using your faith to give. My job is to create the choreography of givers back into your life. The wealth power of Jesus is in the blood. The blood of Jesus is wealth power. Remember the, the life is in the blood. I think that's in Leviticus. The life is in the blood. When we look at the blood of Jesus, his blood was already rich. That's 2 Corinthians 8 and 9. His blood was already rich. So, so when we're looking at the blood of Jesus, his blood was already rich. It wasn't trying to reach riches or trying to reach abundance. It was already rich. Now, now I, I, I want to say something to you that you never thought about before. When Jesus said in John 10, 10, that he come to give you life and life more abundantly. Those words was in his blood before it came out of his mouth. Those words was in his blood before they came out of his mouth. So you heard them come out of his mouth in John 10, 10, but they was encrypted in his blood before he ever spoke it. Now, saints, remember what Jesus said out of the abundance of the heart. Now, do you know that your heart is full of blood vessels? Full of blood. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So out of the abundance of the blood, 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 the mouth speaks. Now you know why it says in Genesis chapter four, how, 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 um, or in Hebrews rather, it talks about how Cain blood, I mean, Abel's blood was speaking out. And then remember Genesis 4, God was saying how Abel's blood is crying out from the ground. So, so we find out that blood has a voice. 
Blood has a language. When, when, when you operate in blood language, Satan can't keep you broke because that language is misunderstood by Satan. Satan don't know how to counterattack that language. That language is a coded language. It's encrypted in the born again lifestyle. The blood declared you wealthy. The blood declared you a multimillionaire, a multi-billionaire. The blood declared that you're going to have harvests and money coming and increase more and more and favor that surrounds you like a shield. Psalm chapter 5 verse 12. Psalm 66 verse 12. He going to bring you into your wealthy place. It was the blood. Psalm 23 verse 1. You got, you're not going to have no wants. You're not going to want for nothing. The blood got a voice. The blood got a voice. So, so when Jesus said, I come to give you life and life more abundantly, those words was in Jesus' blood before they came out of Jesus' lips. So when you receive the blood of Jesus, <laughs> when, when, when you receive the blood of Jesus, Every abundance, every grace, every wealth, every provision, every healing is already released and encrypted in that blood that you receive.